talk about setting up a new iPad in iTunes. First, you must know that you have to use the user's computer that has this iPad to set it up in iTunes. So, as you can see, I have two devices hooked up, but we're going to talk about the one here that just says iPad. And we're going to set it up as a brand new iPad in iTunes. I can restore from a backup or set it up as a new iPad. What we're going to do is set it up as a new iPad. So the first thing I have to do is check set up as new iPad. Check that and hit continue. And now it asks me what I want to name the iPad. We like to name it the user's name. In this case, I'll just call it test. And I like to uncheck automatically sync songs and automatically sync apps. I leave it up to the user to decide what they want to sync. And then you hit done and it will set up the iPad. Now there are a number of tabs at the top of the iPad that we can manipulate. The first one is summary and we have choices here for backup. I can back up to iCloud or I can back up to this computer. What I want to do is back up to this computer. This is the user's computer and this is where we're going to do the backup. So we want to make sure that we have backup to this computer checked. As you can see right here open iTunes when the iPad is connected. I want to uncheck that. I'm going to leave it up to the user to decide when they want to open up iTunes. I don't want anything to freeze or them to be involved in something bad happen. So now I go to the info tab and we don't want to sync our contacts because that's all done through exchange so we leave that unchecked. Sync apps under the apps tab we should check that and we can leave it up to the user or if the user already knows we can check what apps they want synced you hit apply and it syncs those apps now in the music tab same thing you check sync music if they have any music that they need to sync and you can do their whole library or you can select playlists artists albums genres and check whatever they want to sync and just hit apply at the bottom right corner and that will sync Next is the Movies tab. This is really the best way to get MOV files or movie files into the iPad. You don't want to be streaming or anything like that, especially out in the field. So you hit Sync Movies. Any movies that you've imported into iTunes will be listed there. You can automatically sync all movies or choose what movies you want to sync and then you just hit apply and they sync. Same thing with TV shows, but we shouldn't have to worry about that. We can leave that all unchecked. Now books is a good way to get PDFs into iBooks. And then if we go to photos, same thing if you check photos, it asks you, do you want to do your whole library? Or you can do selected albums and events, choose what you want, hit apply, and it happens. Now as you can see there, I hit apply and it said the iPad has not been set up for iCloud backup. So it will back up to this computer automatically, which is exactly what we want in the first place. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.